Keegan Cogan. Analyzed some uh, political cartoons today. It's pretty. I love the colors. A lot of colors. Um, I think this is also a magazine too, I think. Yes, not Puck. It's not Puck. This was Judge. Might have been the competitor, I believe. Yes. Right around the same time period. But I mean, just looking around, um, you know, it's pretty busy. A lot mm -hmm. of different uh, individuals in here. Yep. Ships Hope. in the background. There we go. Some sort of harbor, I'd, I'd imagine. Uh, everybody's holding a sign. Yep. Um, looks like we have a uh, familiar character. Looks like Uncle Sam. Got Uncle Sam there. Hat, goatee, pants. You know, and I guess to break this down, we have to look at the title first. Sure. Ah, uh, oh, the immigrant. The immigrant. Is he an acquisition? acquisition or a detriment? So the cartoonist is asking a question. Positive or negative? Acquisition, is it something that we want to bring in? Or is it a detriment? Is it something that's going to hurt society? So, so then he must be the immigrant. The immigrant. Um, yeah, we can look at the clothing. It's a little tattered. Yep. It came off of one of those ships that you pointed out mm -hmm. in the background. Carrying, looks like um, pillowcases full of, of all of his belongings. Got a box. On the box, one million immigrants came to the United States in 12 months. And then this one says, you know, he is a menace. Uh, he cheapens my labor. Um, he is a puzzle to me. He makes votes. For, but each of these people represent a different member of society. So this guy here is a politician. Sure. You know, he makes votes for me. I'm reminded of Boss Tweet. That's exactly. And the, the, the fact that this guy's got some girth yes. in makes me think the same you know, thing. Um, Bringing in votes. Immigrants would come off the boats. They'd welcome them with a loaf of bread and a cup of coffee. And these politicians, remember you know, to vote. They get them jobs. Yep. Be, and you know, in exchange, they get votes later on. Yes. This is the medical officer. Medical officer. He brings diseases. That's something very you know, as well. Again, we saw this a lot at Ellis Island. You know, having to go into quarantine. There's the famous scene, The Godfather, where yep. Vito's getting off the boat and he has smallpox, so he's put into quarantine. The statesman. Um, also tied in with politics, the statesmen were kind of like the political bosses, not necessarily the politicians themselves. Um, he is a puzzle to me, not quite an understanding. Our workman, he cheapens my labor. You so know, you immigrants are being hired for less than Americans. You know, I'm working for five dollars an hour. In comes the immigrant who's willing to work for three dollars an hour. He's a menace. Who's that? This guy right here. That's yeah. our citizen. Yeah. He's our citizen. And you know, you look at the way he, the body is positioned. Yeah. He's kind of like in this position. Almost like you can see it like uh, not letting people in, doesn't want them to come in. Like, I like, think like a teacher at cafeteria. Dude. Yes, you exactly. Know? Like one of those guys. You know, and, and this should bring authority this you. should bring into mind the average citizen who does not like immigrants, the nativists. Nativists. You know, who did not want immigrants coming in, they want to preserve America for the native born whites. And the common complaint you see in this cartoon that, we're, that you see in other political cartoons, it's like, what, what was the common complaint the nativists had with uh, with immigrants? You know, they brought a disease. Mm -hmm. They were stealing American jobs. Mm -hmm. um, these are arguments that still sometimes come up today yeah. uh, when you're looking at certain things. Now, they're inter a menace. Interesting, you know, interesting. interesting. The opposite of the workman is the laborer, yeah. the factory owner themselves. He gives cheap labor. Yeah. So when you're looking at this cartoon, Americans are really conflicted of how they feel about it. Yeah. Like one side is like, hey, they're great. The other side is like, what's Uncle Sam saying over there? He is, hold on. He is brawn and muscle. Brawn and muscle for my country. I'm reminded of the Irish immigrants to the to America in the 1860s. When he came to the military. Welcome uh, off the boat, son. Sign this, you're a United States citizen. Sign this, you're in the United, United States, States Army. Army. Yep. So now, like, and that was a major part of why we won the war. Yeah. You know, the fighting Irish of, of, of right off the boat. Three square yeah. meals a day. Yeah. You know, great cartoon, a lot of color. You know, again, this this comes up quite often in U.S. history. Pulled this one off the U.S. history regions. And here's just the question that would go through it. See if we if we cover all grounds here. Which statement is most accurately represents the point of view depicted in this 1903 cartoon? So let's just go back here. But, you know, before we even get to the choices. You know, again, uh, political cartoonists, they're trying to make a statement. Mm -hmm. um, there's definitely a point of view. And I think it really comes from here. You know, the immigrant. Is he an acquisition or a detriment? So, Who's going to say he's an acquisition? Uh, let's see. The, 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 probably a factory owner. A factory here. owner. Uncle Sam. The politician the is. The politician, so, absolutely. So then, is it, or is he a detriment? Cheapens labor. The doctor. Jobs. The workman. The nativist. The politician. I mean, the statesman here. He, he, I don't know. So you so see both, both sides of that yeah. argument are represented in here. You know, right. what I find really interesting about this question, yeah. you know, 1903, 
we could be asking the same exact question today. Yes. Same exact question today. Yes. You know, yes. and that hopefully helps lead us to the correct answer now if we go back and look at the questions. Well, let's see what we got here. You know, which statement most accurately represents the point of view depicted in this cartoon? Literacy test, I'm already canceling that one because I'm thinking literacy test and thinking African Americans mm -hmm. reconstruction, but let's read on. Literacy tests are needed to limit immigration to the United States. All right. I didn't see anybody giving a literacy test here. Nope. Right. I mean, we see this immigrant here being depicted as most immigrants were getting off of the boat, but you know, you don't really get a sense of whether the cartoonist has a positive or negative opinion of the of the immigrant. That's yep. just that was an accurate portrayal. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Americans significantly disagree over immigration policy. All of these differing, yeah. you know, and then if and of course we probably know what's going on in the background. You know, again, this is 1903, but when you're looking at immigration policies. One might go back and think about the Chinese Exclusion Act. Mm -hmm. um, the quota you, system that will soon come. Yep. So, again, I like that one. But let's see what else we got. The nation's economy depends on continuing large-scale immigration. That, that's almost a, that's a strong possibility, a nice close it, it, but no cigar kind of thing. Those, like, trick questions, yeah. those trick answers. I mean, are they talking about immigrants working? Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, are they dependent on immigrant labor? It's certainly it's yeah. certainly going to help him yes. as far as the economy goes, sure. but it's not going to help him as far as the economy but this goes. Is, this is a close one. Nativist opposition to immigration is declining. I don't know if I look here, you know, I see a lot of nativist... Uh, a lot of nativist mentality, but it's not giving us any indication and, and the as similar, far as if it's increasing or decreasing. Right, and it's the similar complaints as yeah. well. So Americans definitely disagreeing over immigration policy. Hopefully the, the title of it... Yeah, just the title alone. Is he an acquisition? Is he a positive or negative? Or a detriment? Perfect. We need anything else on this one? Keep up the good work, guys. Good. Thank you for watching.